Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tag from Kimberly Sherelle, natural hair tag by Kimberly Sherelle. Um, and so let's just get started. I don't know how many questions it is, but let's just get started. So number one, my hair type is, so lately I have not been thinking um, or paying attention too much about hair type. I've been paying attention to how my hair reacts to moisture, water, heat, um, and things of that nature. Um, but just for documentation purposes, I feel that my hair is a between a 3C and a 4A. It may have some other, um, types in here, but I am a coily, kinky girl. I feel like some people will say curly too. So it's just a combination. I have a combination of hair types in my hair as we all do. Um, so if you don't subscribe to that hair typing system, I get you. Um, but my hair is low porosity, medium density, and I have fine strands. So that's my hair identity. Um, who is your current hair inspiration? So I have a ton of hair inspirations. Um, I feel like Curly Proverbs was one of the first hair inspirations. And then, um, you know, Mahogany Curls is a curl inspiration. But I have a ton of curl inspirations that I feel like, um, I don't know if their hair is very similar to mine, but it's just inspiring me to keep my hair healthy and grow my hair um, the best that my hair can be. Like I had a video, um, hair vlogs, talking about being my own hair goals. Yes, I want to be my own hair goals. These women are hair goals as well, but I want to be my own hair goals. Okay. Low porosity or high porosity? I already answered that, that I'm low porosity and that means that um, my cuticles on my hair strands lay flat naturally and so they need water to open them up um, in order to impart the moisture or the water. They need warm water to open them up in order to impart the water and the moisture from the products in my hair. Deep conditioners. Do I like them thick or slippery? So I would say slippery because um, I've had some deep conditioners that were just too thick that it took me sleeping in them overnight for them to penetrate my strands. And so um, I think the slip aids in the detangling. Um, if it's thick, I mean, I like thick and slippery, but if I had to choose, I would choose slippery. Um, I think the slippery conditioners that I've used before um, are the Miel, Babasu, the Sultanicals, all of them are slippery. The um, LK Naturals deep conditioners for me are slippery. Uh, Mish, obviously, uh, their conditioners are light. They're thick but light, but they have some slip to it. Um, twist out or braid out? Twist out. I love a braid out, but I feel like the twist out mimics my natural curls and it, it pro provides some elongation, but still some some volume like over the days this hair will get big now i use camille rose curl love moisture milk for this to twist out and it was my protect protective style journey so i used um i wore my hair and twist for about a week and then twisted it out this morning and this is what you get and so it's like a two-in-one hairstyle i love doing that low manipulation leave your hair alone i'm washing my hair today so yeah, it's like a win-win. Um, braid outs leave my hair um, more elongated, but it looks flatter for me. So it's like more flat, whereas the twist outs are fluffy for my hair. Um, wash and go or rod set? Wash and go for sure. Rod sets, I've messed them up and I have not done a wet rod set yet. I've done a fluffy, like blown out rod set, but I have not. So wash and goes are super simple. They're the simplest 
for me. They take like 30 minutes to do to get through your hair with a, an amazing product. You gotta have the right product though. Um, but yeah, perm rod set or flexi rod set? Uh, flexi rod set, I guess, because they're bigger, I guess. Um, I haven't done a perm rod set in forever. Um, I don't like how flexi rod sets feel though. Like, you know, if you're sleeping in them, don't sleep in either one of them. But I know sometimes you have to. Um, I like the way my hair looks with a flexi rod set. Um, I have not tried a perm rod set on my natural hair. So I would pick, pick flexi rod set. Shower or sink? Sink period because my hair sheds a lot. Um, just naturally your hair sheds. And so I won't have to worry about clogging up the sink even though I have the drain catcher for hair. Um, I just think I like it better in the sink and then maybe rinse out my deep conditioner in the shower. You know, you know? If you know, you know. Um, air dry or diffuse? Air dry or sit under a hooded dryer. So this doesn't have, this has air dry or diffuse. So I would air dry over diffuse, but I would sit under a hooded dryer over air drying lately, especially in the winter time. Um, and I've learned that sitting under the dryer, it helps, helps set your style. So whether it be a twist out or, um, braid out or flexi rod set or even a wash and go it helps set it and then like for the products to like work immediately i don't know but i for the first i don't know three years i loved um air drying so in this scenario air drying um i've yet to use a diffuser only when i'm at a salon getting a salon service or my curly cuts that's when they've used a diffuser but i personally have never used a diffuser on my hair fleeky edges are as they are fleeky not fleeky just you know kind of so i guess as they are i would rather some as they are versus Fleeky, fleeky. Um, deep conditioner or oils? Definitely deep conditioners, hands down. Love me a deep conditioner. Um, if I could only have one thing, I would have a deep conditioner. One product, and the, for the rest of my life, it would be a deep conditioner. Um, it should probably be a shampoo, but it would be a deep conditioner. <laughs> Um, high bun or low bun? Me, you know me, high bun all the way, high bun, high bun. Bantu knots or finger coils? Um, I haven't done either one, but I would say that I would be more, um, I would lean towards more finger coils. They say that they take forever, but they look so cute, so cute. Protective styles in the summer or winter? Protective styles in the winter, because the summer, your hair can be moisturized with the wackest product. Like it can be moisturized and the product isn't even moisturizing in the winter, if that makes sense. So um, protective styling in the winter helps to seal in that moisture, like you'll, I don't know what I'm saying, but you want to protect your hair in the winter. Cause the summer, I don't know, products just work differently in the summer and the winter. So I would rather protect my hair in the winter. Um, but you could do both. Leave a comment down below if you protective style in the summer or the winter. Um, bonnets or scarves? Bonnets are, or scarves, both, but more bonnets. Like, as soon as I get in the house, I throw on my bonnet. As soon as I, you know, lay down on the couch, I throw on my bonnet. As soon as I lay in the bed, I throw on my bonnet. Just a catch-all, like I always. Like, if I'm in the house, I have my bonnet on. Um, wide tooth comb or detangling brush? Uh, detangling brush, wide tooth combs. Um, I started off with wide tooth combs. I think that was like, the beginning but I feel like the brushes just do something and you have to be careful with the brushes um, so you won't have any mechanical damage or breakage or anything like that like finger detangle first and then use whatever tool even with the wide tooth comb like finger detangle softly your hair 
um, with a, a, a product with slip um, and then go in with your tools. Um, T-shirt or microfiber towel. T-shirt all day. I have a microfiber towel. It dries my hair out more than I would like it to, but I still, you know, I use it for like to drape over my shoulder. Um, but I would prefer a T-shirt or a T-shirt towel, if that makes sense. So the the T-shirt material, um, it makes my hair feel so good. It doesn't suck the moisture out as much. So T-shirt. Um, gel versus no gel. Um, it just depends. Um, but I would go so far as to say no gel because I know my hair is more moisturized with no gel. Now there's some gels that are moisturizing um, from the main choice. Those are the gels that I feel like are the, have the max moisture for my hair. Um, so I would pick those as a gel option. But um, I would say no gel because my hair feels better with no gel, unless it's the main choice. Right now, I haven't found a gel to compare to the main choice, honestly. Um, length or health, both, but health, definitely. I definitely believe in health and taking care of your hair from the inside out. Um, but you can start on the outside with just washing your hair, detangling properly, doing your hair, deep conditioning, cleansing your scalp, things things of that nature. Um, side part or middle part? I love a good side part. Um, I detangle my hair middle part, but I wear my hair. I like my hair better with a side part. I think once my hair grows out, I would like a middle part, um, but the top, from just being in a curly cut and I've had bangs before, um, the top is always shorter. Like it's never been even. And when it gets even, I think that I would do a middle part more. Um, and then a plastic cap or plastic bag. I prefer a plastic cap because I'm bougie. No, um, I would rather a plastic cap. I don't know. But I found that the Dollar Tree plastic caps are too small for my head and hair. Um, so I get them from Walmart, but Walmart, they're out of them um, most of the time. So I don't know. I've been using plastic bags, like garbage, clear plastic bags. I don't use the store plastic bags because of what's going on in the world right now. But um, I don't think that anything's wrong with it. Just spray it with some uh, Lysol and just keep it going. But yeah, so this is the end of the Natural Hair Tag by Kimberly Chappelle. If you can relate to any of my answers let me know down in the comment box if you have not subscribed yet please click the subscribe button please click the, click the bell notification please like this video if you like this video if you want more content please 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 like share comment let me know because the only way that i know that you like the content is if you let me know or if i see the thumbs up going up or if i see the views going up so um i'm on a roll i am so thankful for each and every one of you i'm thankful for the oldie but goodies i'm thankful for the newbies i see you um and that's 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 it that's all let me know if you can relate to any of my answers down in the comment box and peace out